In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply the mirror effect to your videos using Cyberlink Power Director. So, what you need to do is to open up Cyberlink Power Director. Now, I'm using version 16, but I've also used older versions and even newer versions, and the process is exactly the same. So, it doesn't really matter what version you're using. So, once the program opens, you want to import the video of your choice. So, just use the little import option from the media here, select the files you want from your computer. and then just add a file of your choice. Now you can add any kind of video you want here to add the mirror effect to, doesn't matter what kind of video it is. So once the video has been added, drag the video down to your timeline. And then once the video has been added to your timeline, you want to go to the FX option here, which is the um, effect room, click on the effect room. And then from the list here, we want to select visual. So select visual and Roughly halfway down, you should see the mirror option. It may be anywhere, but generally there it is here. So click on the mirror option. You can see the mirror option here. So there's a couple of options here you can add the mirror option. The first one you can do is literally just to hold down the, your left key and drag it to the FX timeline here. You can then also here, you can see, you can drag it along. So it covers any kind of um, portion of the video. So you can have it just 10 seconds or the full length of the video is up to you. If I just delete that a minute, you can also just literally drag down the mirror option and place it over the video here like so. And that will apply to that particular timeline. Now bear in mind if the video is all broken up, then you will have to drag down the mirror option to each individual scene. So you can see here, you can once that's been dragged down, you can click on the effect option here and it tells you the mirror option has been applied here. You can also click the um, little remove icon and it should remove it. So I personally prefer to use the FX option to drag it down here. Literally just apply it to the, the length of video you want. So if we just give a little sample once that's finished. So you can see here, if I just play the video, that's now in the mirror mode. So you can see it's kind of like a kind of double vision kind of mode. There's, there's other options you can do as, as well to kind of um, apply different effects to the mirror option. So if you just click on the mirror option here, you can see here there's a little bar. You can drag to the left and to the right. And you can see the video kind of kind of offsets the mirror option. So you can kind of have double vision, which is kind of like the default. Or you can have kind of like multiple kind of different screens and so on. So just, just play around with what you want. You can also click here, which is inverse. So you can see changes it again. So I personally kind of just like the put it in the center. So it's up to you, up to you how you want this. So that's basically how you can apply the mirror effect using Cyberlink Power Director. So the next thing I'm going to show you now is just a little quick demonstration. I add a video to the end of this video, which just shows you the um, the mirror effect in action. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.